Hey there guys, Neil here with a feature review. So with uh, LG's recent announcement on how they're getting rid of the app drawer with the G5, I thought I'd share a way to help get used to not having an app drawer on your Android device now to see if it's something you can get used to, if it's something worth um, trying out, or in the event that Android N in fact, or the rumors for Android N come true and they go without an app drawer, so you kind of get an interface like um, iOS but on the Android platform. So the first thing you'll do is install Action Launcher version 3 um, and it has a feature, once you do that it has a feature called covers. Um, if you go into settings it has a toggle for auto cover so as soon as you create a folder it'll create the cover. Um, I have it set to off because when I create my folders I might not know ex or I might not put everything into a particular order right away. So there may be a app that I want that I put in the folder second or third that um, I may want to make the main um, app shortcut for that cover. So I have it set to off, but if you go in the order that you want, then auto covers enabled may work for you. So how do they work? So essentially what you'll do to start is you'll group two or more icons to create a folder. So in this case, I'll use my Amazon apps as an example. So I'm putting the Amazon shopping app, um, the Kindle app, their music app, and the videos app into a folder. So you get the traditional folder, um, touching it or swiping on it will let you open the folder. So I have the apps in the order I put them in. Um, and then you can uh, name the folder if you so choose. So I'll just call it um, Amazon. So I just I have my folder and uh, nothing too special there. But to create a cover, um, what you'll do is touch the three dots on the bottom right of your folder and select Make Cover. So now you see that um, the Amazon Shopping app was the first icon or the app first shortcut in the folder. So now when I select it, it'll automatically open the Amazon Shopping app. Uh, now you may be wondering how do you get back into the folder because touching it obviously like you would normally do a folder uh, will just launch the app. So what you'll do is you can either swipe down or you can swipe up and it'll open your cover as if it were a, the regular regu or traditional folder and you can get to any other app in that um, folder. So now I have access to Kindle, music and video. So whichever one I want to open um, next, I can get to that just as easily. Now you may be wondering, now let's say you put, created this folder and then you create a cover, but um, the Amazon shopping app is not something you use all the time. Let's say you use the Amazon Music app the most out of these four shortcuts. What if you want that as the uh, main shortcut? All you have to do is drag the that shortcut to the first position in the folder and now it's the um, shortcut in that cover. So touching it will open um, Amazon Music. Going back to my home screen and swiping it, I can go to my folder just as if it was a regular folder and that is it. So this is one example of just how to create a cover, but you can organize your apps however you want. So let's say you want to group all your apps on your home screen and you never want to go into your app drawer, you can do that. I have my shortcuts set to the apps I use all the time. So I always use Facebook or sorry, Folio for Facebook, uh, Pocket Cast and Best HDR for taking my pictures. So I have those as my cover, my main cover shortcuts for each folder. Swiping on the Facebook icon uh, will take me to Feedly, Google Plus, and Twitter as well because I use those as well, but not so much as uh, Facebook on my at least on my um, Android device. For the Pocket Cast icon, I have shortcuts to Amazon Music, Google Play Music, and YouTube. I use those not as much as podcasts because I listen to those a lot more. So when I do need to listen to music, I have access, uh, quick access to those as well. And then same thing for best HDR. Obviously, I can't. And I don't really need to go into my gallery too much, but I can't share anything to Instagram um, or edit a picture in Snapseed unless I have the picture. So I use Best HDR the most. Um, and then I have open camera as well to take standard pictures, but I use Best HDR the most, so I want that to be my main cover shortcut. So um, that's pretty much all there is to cover. So once you have your folder, all you need to do, like I said, is touch the three dots, make covers. Now let's say you realize that you don't really need covers all that much or you don't really like them as much as you thought you would. All you do is touch the three dots and make folder and your cover becomes a traditional folder. So touching it will open the folder as if it was a regular folder and then swipe. You can still swipe on the folder if you want. Um, 
but having it as a folder will just work like a traditional Android folder. Um, but that's really all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, something didn't quite make sense or you're having trouble with it, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01 and I'll be happy to help you out or uh, show you again how I went about it. Um, but that is all for this particular review. So um, thanks for listening and watching and until next time.